Those sounds were recorded at the United Nations Association International Service Work Camp at Spot Cardiff during August of 1965. The conversations were between Welsh and overseas volunteers, giving their final impressions before leaving Wales for their home countries. The last four interviews were with volunteers from Czechoslovakia, Sweden, France and Denmark, all of whom were students and on their first visit to Britain. The remainder of the camp were composed of English, Scottish and Welsh volunteers, so there was a good international flavour. For three weeks, ten volunteers worked full-time in one of the most depressing districts of Cardiff, amongst its old, decrepit houses made grimy by severe industrial pollution. During this time, they brought the sparkle of their cheerfulness, together with the brightness of fresh paint and wallpaper, to many a dingy home. Lonely old age pensioners and needy families were helped either in this practical way of having one or two rooms decorated or by assistance with spring cleaning or gardening. The jobs of work were done well, but the real achievements are not in what is left behind to look at and admire, but rather in the many friendships made in this relatively short time. There have been other little success stories too, such as reuniting old neighbours, persuading an elderly person to attend the WVS Day Centre, encouraging children to help clean a house neglected by the mother, stirring the relatives into helping an ageing relative, arranging for landlords to do repairs and also to install a new fire grate, and so on and so on. About half a dozen local young people volunteered their services part-time and partly arising out of this work, a group of them have decided to associate themselves permanently with this kind of work in Cardiff. The open camp social evening in the second week uh, concluded with the announcement of a full-time volunteer coming to Cardiff to help direct this work for a year, and he is now engaged by the coordinating body known as Voluntary Community Service. As a contribution to the work of the United Nations Association, the work camp has been an undoubted success. With films and reports on both television channels and photographs and comment in both local newspapers, more publicity has been achieved in Cardiff than in any other single effort of UNA. International understanding has certainly been furthered, not only amongst the volunteers themselves, but in their deliberate contacts elsewhere, such as at the Atlantic International College, and during frequent social contacts with the other overseas volunteer work camp in Cardiff, associated with international voluntary service. The following are comments made at the Butte Town International Voluntary Service United Nations Association work camp, 1966. This was one of the last evenings at the camp. Anyway, what do you think? Do you think it's been worthwhile? Have you enjoyed it? And I think you've sort of been really helpful. Was it worth coming to Cardiff to do this then? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Brenda? Mm -hmm. All the way from Israel. Well, um, from my own. Well, from your point of view, that's mm -hmm. an important thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You think it's been worthwhile? Well, I came there for a second year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you're studying sociology anyway, so it's... Uh, it's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But is it worth coming so far to look after such difficult children, you know, and... Uh, so, do you think you've got the experience that you were looking for? Mm. What do you think? Mm. What do you think about the family in question? Do you think it's been particularly worthwhile from their point of view? You say that she's she was very grateful today. 
But, but you, ha- you found that you're much more friendly with her now in this last week. The following discussion is placed at the Butte Town International Work Camp on Thursday, the 1st of September, 1966. This followed uh, the evening supper and was to form a record of our casework with family service. There were three families involved and two volunteers assigned to each family. These volunteers came from Czechoslovakia, France, Germany and Israel and were brought to Cardiff under the auspices of International Voluntary Service and the International Service Department of the United Nations Association. The day previous to this recording was technically speaking the last day of the project which uh, was also the last day when the children were on holiday. This morning they all went to school and so the mothers were relieved of this particular problem. The main purpose of the camp was to give the mothers a break during the last three weeks of the holiday. All three families have at least six children and the mothers are completely alone in caring for them. The fathers are either away from home or in one case the mother is widowed. We start with the board family. Uh, Renata, you were in charge of the work for the board family and you worked with George. Right? Now what was the first impression you had of this family? The first impression? The first impression you know, when I entered the house, the children were very wild and I didn't understand the distance at all. The house was rather dirty. The room was dirty. And uh, well, what sort of change have you seen in this family and in the children? Well, yes. Oh. Well, do you think the children are any better behaved? Do you think Mrs. Borg has uh, improved in any way? Has she been able to keep the house tidier? No, I don't think so. I don't think that Mrs. Port has improved. Mm. Uh, the house, maybe it's a little bit tidier. It doesn't smell so mm. much anymore. But uh, and she tries to cook. That's right. But uh, better. Mm. I don't think so. Of course, she's at the end of her path. Yes. And the children, maybe they have improved a little bit. Mm. They. I think they help each other more. Mm. The first time we were there, they were just running and nobody took care of each other. Mm. But now they sometimes help each other. Mm. And they bring. Um, I showed them how to put sugar first, uh, how not to put the whole basis, you know, the whole sugar. Put one spoon at a time into their tea. Yeah. Yes, but uh, they put, put a, uh, sugar first in a basin mm. and then take a spoon and mm. and from this basin and put the sugar into mm. the cup. Mm. And, and Tony, the baby, well, how old is he? Four? Four and a half years They old. call him a baby still, and they treat him like a baby. Yes, he is. And he was drinking out of a bottle when we arrived. Yes, he is. He's still drinking out of the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She mm. tried to change it, I think. Mm. There was an improvement, but she's at least he was drinking out of a cup when we remembered to take one ourselves instead yes. of a pop bottle. Yes. Mm. What about George now? George. Georgie. I really don't know what to say. Yeah. So he's a different. One day mm. he's drawing and he's happy when he can draw, mm. and the other day he's fighting and mm. just like an animal. Mm.
George, um, I think we cannot uh, expect uh, from George some big, uh, some big uh, improvement. If improvement, because I think his intelligence um, uh, is uh, so such uh, kind mm -hmm. that uh, his historical tool is true, but. Uh, I think it's only uh, in addition to mm. his uh, small intelligence and uh, some father who will be uh, strong on or um, strict uh, would be very good for him. It's only really the fact that you were strong enough that you could handle him at all, I should think. Yes, it would have been very difficult for any volunteer who wasn't strong enough to grab hold of him and chase him and catch him. No, I am. Um, I think one volunteer for Giorgio. Yeah, yeah. it was very, very hard work with him. <laughs> but uh, he um, he is able to be very good uh, on the other side. Mm. But um, you can you cannot explain him what is good and uh, what is bad. He make uh, all the, all, only if he is in, uh, in good terms. Um. Well, you were looking at helping to look after the children with Brenda for these three weeks. Mm -hmm. Would you like to say in French what you thought well, about the place where they live, the difficult circumstances and so on? I think that the mother has a lot of merit with her little children. Elle s'efforce euh, de les tenir propres, mais les vêtements ne sont pas de très bonne qualité. Euh, le logement n'est pas tellement n'est pas tellement salubre. Et, mais apparemment, euh, les enfants euh, ont l'air d'être heureux. Peut-être que dans en profondeur, ce n'est pas ça. Uh, yes, I first um, um, have uh, made my mind to um, to be a leader of uh, work camp in uh, Germany, but uh, I have um, uh, I've decided to ru uh, I've decided too late, and there uh, I had not the chance to do um, leader in the camp, uh, which was um, um, which was the thing um, to uh, enter or to be a leader, to become a leader of a uh, work camp. And then I... Um, what kind of work camp will that be? Uh, I try to find a work camp with social work. So in Germany you can do a work camp um, uh, having hospitals or having in um, old houses, in uh, old um, living... In like the spot camp. Yes, like the yes. spot camps, yes. And uh, that was too late. And then I have... Um, uh, no, uh, I um, get to know. Get to know. <laughs> I had known something um, about um, our German um, youth, international youth community service. Yes, what's that in German? Uh, Internationaler Jugendgemeinschaftsdienst. IGGDE. IGGDE. Yes. And uh, I. Um, and they told you about the yes, UN and Association? Me, yes, they told me something about the UNS uh, Association. And when did you and write I, the I decided to go to England and then I went, uh, I, uh, I did acquaintance with uh, the English organization. But and what date was that? Uh, last date of July. Yes. And then I had a chance to come to Cardiff. Mm, and then Did they tell you anything about the kind of work that you might be doing here? No, it was terrible. I um, only um, knew in the last week uh, in what camp um, I would come and uh, what sort of work I would do. I um, um, I could uh, dis I could um, choose choose choose. I could choose between um, several kinds of works that were uh, decorating or um, social work or youth work or old uh, work and so on. 
and uh, I decided um, for social work and I could change issues the, la uh, the land mm -hmm. and then I get the chance to go to England to this camp. Mm -hmm. And uh, I find um, it is uh, very difficult for a volunteer to go for three weeks uh, in a very difficult family and to do um, and to do a work we uh, to, and to do a work which might have done uh, for a longer time. You think and to you do a you successful work. You think that you would have done better work if you'd been here longer, do you? Yes. How much longer? In uh, my case. It may be enough to uh, stay for three weeks and uh, to help during the holidays, but in the other families, uh, it yes. uh, would be better if uh, the work will um, take a longer time for six weeks or seven weeks. In general, I can say that uh, I'm that I am very glad to um, come to an international work camp. I never heard before. Uh, I have never heard before from international work camps for students or for pupils and uh, so it is uh, my first camp I have done and um, I think it's the best uh, op opportunity to um, to learn a country and to learn something about his uh, culture and his speech and his problems if you are confronted uh, with uh, if you are confronted with these uh, problems and uh, if you um, must be able um, to uh, get ready with this Oh, Brenda, what do you think about the camp? And could it be longer? Could it be improved? Did you hate anything about it? Well, um, I think it serves quite a number of purposes. Um, first of all, I came here for... Um, I wanted to gain certain experience in social work. And uh, as far as that goes, I think this has proved a wonderful success. Uh, the other part of it, the bringing of a number of nationalities together, for me personally, once again, it's been a wonderful experience and I think it's helped to break down many barriers and prejudices. Why did you decide to do volunteer work this year? Uh, I decided uh, to take part in uh, work camp in England uh, because I, I should like to improve my English and uh, because of I didn't get the ex card from London. I <laughs> uh, I went there in in the center of the UNA and uh, asked them, um, and they gave me the accepting card for Cardiff. When did you first write to the UNA? I uh, wrote them uh, on the end, if in the end of uh, last year. In uh, 65, it was before Christmas. And you filled up the right form and so on. Yes, uh, the form I got about two months after my first uh, letter, and then uh, I was accepting. Uh, I was expecting uh, the uh, invitation from England, but uh, because of the welcome uh, in in Wandsworth, where I, uh, on, uh, for which I was accepted, was cancelled, I didn't get it. Yes, what sort of work camp was that? It was uh, constructing and, uh, and pa painting. Yes, and where was that? Wandsworth? Wandsworth, in, in London. London. Yes. yes, it's part of London. The welcome here enjoyed it very much. It's a first welcome, and I think um, the life here was very pleasant and um, full of uh, full of uh, <laughs> interesting activity. It seems to me very <laughs> good, uh, good. Uh, kind of welcome and I think uh, it's good so how it is now. Now uh, this is the United Nations Association International Service Work Camp at Butte Town Cardiff and it's taking place between what dates? 
12th of August and the 2nd of September. 12th of August, the 2nd of September, 1967. Uh, no, I'm going to ask you a few questions about your work. First of all, what, what is the main objective of the work in this camp? Um, well, it's just uh, to give the children of this particular area something um, constructive as opposed to destructive to do during a short time of their school holidays. Uh, this is a problem then of keeping the children off the streets more than anything else yeah. and giving the mothers a break on, yeah. a, on as large a scale as possible with regard to the number of children. Now, I know that you've had quite a lot of children at this camp. Has this been a special difficulty? Um, not so much the numbers, but the age range has been the biggest difficulty. Um, the younger ones are a lot easier to control. Uh, when we get to 11, 12 year olds, they, uh, when they're in a group, they're inclined to be a bit, um, you know, unmanageable. Yeah. Uh, now, the location of your work, it's in a, an old uh, Nism Hut wartime building, isn't it? Not a Nism Hut, but an army hut type of thing. Yeah. Um, which has been lent to you by the education department. Right. Now, have you any comments to make about the, the this location? Has it presented any difficulties, or do you find it quite satisfactory? The location is is all right, but the the lack of room um, is not. We we find that the building is much too small, not only for the volunteers but also for it. It has to be used for the centre as well for the children. Yeah. It's about half the size. It's you know is needed. Yeah. This is at West Close. Uh, near the um, West Coast Bars, right? There's a nursery school alongside. Um, now, there was one other point which I know we discussed earlier. Uh, the question of whether the camp should be at the same location as the work that you're carrying out. In, a, in this particular instance, the play leadership. Um, no, I personally I think it's, it's a disadvantage to have the um, children playing in the same on the same premises as the volunteers are living because for, well for a lot of reasons it is inconvenient and also it means that um, the volunteers never see anything else but this building all day and also it means they've got to clean the place up three times to make it you know livable in before each meal and also everything that the, you would normally have lying about where you live such as newspapers records wireless etc all have to be locked up yes. before the children can be allowed in this makes it more difficult. And of course, at, the, at a certain stage, you had some trouble in the evenings too, is that right? Well, we had uh, a crowd of children attempted or did succeed in breaking in. We managed to catch them before they did any damage. But, yeah. uh, um, now, you, the, the, this camp has taken place for three weeks. Now, do you see a change in the pattern over that period of three weeks? Um, in the children? It's in the children? No, in the work and the children, and do you think you've achieved something? Well, I can't honestly say we've achieved much, except just keeping the children occupied for a few hours during the day. That's about all we've been able to do, is we're very limited on our, with our equipment. In fact, we've got hardly anything to speak of now. What we did have in the beginning has either been broken or wandered off with the children somewhere. Um, we need, we could have done with far more, a few more volunteers and far more equipment, even to, you know, to make a start. Yeah. Be constructive. Yeah. But these are particularly difficult children, aren't they? Some of them. It's a, it's a difficult area of Cardiff where there are very few facilities and very little interest shown in children anyway. You agree with that? Yes, yes. It is, yeah. So that uh, you've, got a, you've got a special problem because of, you're starting from scratch with very difficult children anyway. Yes, if we just had, if it was just a, a, pro a case of finding something to give the children to do, then we could overcome that problem. But the, our biggest problem is just you spend so much time just trying to stop the children from breaking things up. Yeah. You know, which, uh, which doesn't well, would there have been an advantage in trying to restrict the number of children and would that have been feasible, would it have been possible to do that? No, I don't think this is possible because uh, this area is famous for its large families yeah. and um, when you've got one family of six children the age range usually goes from about 2 to 13 yeah. and we find it almost impossible to split yeah. these families they either all go together or none go yeah. at all uh, yeah, I think originally, the first day, we had about 50 to 60 children, yeah, yeah. Um, and, the f and it sort of dwindled down to about an average of 30 now, I think. Mm. Um, no, I've asked you a lot of questions. Anything direct you want to contribute about the work that I haven't covered? Um, well, nothing to say about this, about this particular camp, but I don't think, you know, if we ever did this again, we, we, we could possibly do it on such a small scale. It, just after this year, we've learned that it's impossible ever to do it again such a small number of volunteers and so, such, you know, small premises and lack of equipment, mm, which is I not see. worthwhile. 
Right, so we talk about the volunteers now. How, how many volunteers are there? Well, we have 10 official unit volunteers, um, overseas volunteers, plus two, two extra volunteers that stayed on from an, a previous Cardiff work camp. They stayed on for the full three weeks. And uh, also we have um, several local Cardiff people who come during the day, odd days of the week, to help us out. Mm -hmm. And do you find that the local people, with their local knowledge and command of English, perhaps, have a greater advantage? Oh yes, this is definitely. Um, yeah. We find that, like myself, I can control the children a lot easier because I know Butown and I also yeah. know a lot of the children yeah. and, a, and a few of their parents beforehand, so I have a certain hold over the, you know, over the worst yeah. ones. But, um, right. <coughs> so local volunteers are key people, and they're very important with this kind of. Oh work, yes. Right? yes yeah. Now. There must be some special contribution, some unique contribution, which the overseas volunteers themselves make to this. Yes, I think the children are sort of, uh, interested because the volunteers are from out of this country. I think this, you know they've said to me that they, you know, where are they from, and you know, have they come all the way over here just to just to um, just to play with us, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think this is an attraction. I think if it was purely local volunteers, perhaps they wouldn't be quite so keen be cooperative. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, the educational aspect of the work? You had one special evening for this. Oh purpose. yes, um, as far as the volunteers are concerned, we've had one um, semi-educational evening when the, the branch, the local Cardiff branch of the United Nations Association held a, um, an open evening for to meet the volunteers and also we had a speaker who gave the volunteers a sort of history or shortened version of history of Cardiff mm -hmm. and uh, then they were shown on the, the Temple of Peace which is the headquarters of the Welsh National Council of UNA. That was in the second week of the camp was it? This was in the first week of the camp. First week I see. Um, what, what has impressed you most about Cardiff and the people here? Uh, well I didn't meet so very much but uh, in the shops I met some people and well, they're very kind. They just as, as if they, they know you for a long time, I think. They'll ask where you are from and what are you doing here. And, oh yes, and, uh, what, and do you think that... Uh, are they aware that... Well, they obviously they're aware that you're from... Uh, I think they, they just see that you are from abroad or something. So just uh, start talking to you. <laughs> no, they probably think thing. you're a tourist at first, I suppose. Perhaps, yeah. When they learn about your work, do you think their attitude changes? Uh, what do you mean? Do you think that uh, they think, you know, this is a very good thing and why do you come all this way to work for, for oh, yes. a lot of people like this who perhaps don't appreciate it? You know? I think they appreciate it. They do much. appreciate yes, it. Yes, I think. You think so. it's good for international understanding? Then? Oh, yes. Yeah. Now, have you anything special which you think would to say, which you think might improve this kind of work? Well, I feel that if this sort of camp takes place next year, we won't be able to do it with so many children that it'll have to be restricted to certain families so it'll have to be chosen. It's impossible for this number of volunteers, I think, to cope with the number of children, especially in this area and with this accommodation and conditions. Thank you. Uh, now, we have a, a group of local volunteers here. Uh, one or two of them have taken part in the, uh, this IVS work camp and helped with uh, the, the full-time volunteers. And uh, there are others present who uh, have only been able to participate in the social activities and uh, one or two other publicity activities. Now, Mike, could you like to say something about this aspect of the work? I know you've been engaged in uh, some of the publicity, for example. Uh, the value uh, from the camp been quite successful in many ways. Uh, other contact uh, had very little to do with the actual work, just with the volunteers, and they themselves seem to be quite pleased with the work. So, what do you think about uh, the impact that this camp might have had on the citizens of Cardiff, either through the press or being buffeted in the street with leaflets, etc.? Um, certainly, if the citizens of Cardiff, if it's been brought to their attention, it's extremely valuable and might possibly help in recruiting more members to IVF. Yes. Do you think that it would have had a, a good influence on uh, the younger citizens in Cardiff, you think? Yeah. Well, certainly, um, yes. It helps, as I say, draw their attention to it. 
didn't, didn't experience any adverse reaction? Didn't get thrown out of any pubs, for example, on your collection? No, I actually wasn't on the collection, but oh. <laughs> mm. as far as I gather, it went very successfully. Mm.